Hi, my name is Haley, and we are going to be going to the San Fernando Rey de Espana mission for my video mission report project. <laughs> mission in Mission Hills, California. Let's go inside and learn about this wonderful mission. This mission was founded on September 8, 1797. It's the 17th mission of all of the 21 missions built in California. This mission was founded by Father Fermin Francisco de Lassen. He was born on June 7, 1736 in Victoria, Spain. He joined the Franciscan Order at the age of 23 and was sent to Mexico to become a missionary. Mission San Fernando Rey de España was named after Saint Fernando. He was the king of Spain in the 13th century, so Rey de España means king of Spain. The main goal of the mission was to convert the local American Indians to Christianity and turn them into normal, tax-paying Spanish citizens. The American Indians in this area were the Chumash and the Tonga. They attracted the Indians to the mission by giving them beads, blankets, clothes, ribbons, food, and food as gifts. The American Indians that were recruited to the mission and converted to Christianity were called neophytes. The neophytes worked by building parts of the mission. They also raised crops and livestock. In its peak year, it had 12,000 cattle and about 5,000 sheep. <laughs> this mission once had over 1,000 fruit trees and 70 acres of olive trees and 32,000 grapevines. So this is where the blacksmith worked, producing metal goods and things that were needed for everyday life at the mission. This is the weaving room. The woman weaved here producing much of the cloth used at the mission, including blankets, sheets, tablecloths, and napkins. Over here we have the adobe bricks, which the American Indians made with dirt, mud, and manure. This is what the whole mission is made of. This convento took 13 years to finish. It was 1822 when it was finished. It is the largest building in all of the missions. This is the wine cellar. They used the grapes grown at the mission to make the wine. Let's go inside and look inside the wine cellar. This is the wine cellar where the mission made the wine. They stored the wine in these barrels and it is underground and it is dark and cold. It is like this because if it was um, if it was light and warm, then it would change the taste of the wine. Mission, in its peak year, the mission made 2,000 gallons of wine and brandy. This is the reception room. It's the biggest of reception room of all of the all of the 21 missions. The neophytes like to paint on the mission walls for decoration, like that painting right over there.
We are here in one of the oldest libraries in California. It still contains many original books collected by the fragments. There's a lot of these. This is the smokehouse. Meats are hung and smoked in this chimney during September and October. So this is what the American Indians ate. For breakfast, everyone drank hot chocolate and ate a tole, a type of porridge made from cooked corn. For lunch and dinner, they either ate a tole or persole. Persola is a kind of thick soup, and if they and they ate a tole for dinner again, but this time they had it with wild fruits and berries, and chicken or meat. This is the Madonna Room. It is a collection of religious artifacts. At one time, this used to be the mission jail. Then it was turned into the Madonna. In 1797, the first church was built. Two years later, it was too small and they had to build another one. This mission church is an exact replica of the third mission church built in 1806 and destroyed by an earthquake in 1971. This church is still open every Sunday for Mass. This is the cemetery where over 2,000 American Indians were buried here between 1797 and 1852. American Indians when to wake up, when to eat lunch, to go to mass, and have dinner and do chores. So this water fountain behind me is shaped like a flower instead of a circle, so more American Indian ladies can wash their clothes at once because they can fit into these spots. If you throw a coin into this fountain, there's a 50-50 chance that it will come true. It's like, Yana, what I wish for is an A on this project. This concludes our tour of the San Fernando Rey de España mission. Thank you for watching.
into normal Spanish text pink and turn them into normal local oh. the American Indians that were keep including blankets, sheets, tablecloths, and napkins. Right, well, clothes. Doesn't say clothes. <laughs> By 1779, wait, wait, what? By 10. This mission once had over one.